back to cut up the woods, Brenda. Tonight, we're going to make what they call preacher cookies. This is my recipe, and the reason I say that because I've come up with a something that um, is really good in here. I've got two items that's not used in it that I put, and it's really good. So this way, this recipe's already been made up, but when you add stuff and change it, then it's your own. So this is my own recipe, and I hope you'll make it and enjoy it. First thing we're going to do, the original, I'm making a double batch, okay? So I'm just going to tell you what I'm putting in it. This, this was supposed to be one uh, stick of butter, so I'm putting two. And I just cut them up a little bit. And I'm going to drop them in the pot. And I've got the eye coming on. I thought I had the eye coming on. <laughs> and I'm going to let that melt. I got it coming on and I'm going to let it melt and or get it started melting and then I'll pour in my milk. Now my milk is not milk. That's one of my things that I changed. It's carnation. It would have been a half a cup but it's a whole cup now because I'm doubling the recipe. So it's carnation. And um, makes it really rich. So we will get this stuff to... Now, folks, sometimes if you see me with my, my papers out, this is something I'm going to make. And sometimes I pull my recipe out just to make sure that I got everything right. My ears itch, and that means I'm going to have company. I think. I want my hands to itch because that means somebody's going to give you money, but they're not itching. That's my bad. <laughs> but anyway, sometimes I'll look at my recipe and just make sure my ingredients are right because I take a lot of medicine and sometimes I forget. And so I just want to make sure everything's right. Now my butter's melting real good. I will turn this down here as soon as everything gets to boiling that I'm going to put in it. I like to melt the butter and then start adding a couple of things. And um, so I got the butter in there. I'm going to put the milk in there or the cream. It's a cup of cream. And don't forget, I'm doubling the recipe. So we're going to post the recipe. I'm going to go ahead and pour the cream in there. And um, I'm going to put the sugar in there. That was um, two cups of sugar. Trying to remember two cups of sugar. And sometimes if you see me has, if you see me with a blank moment and I'm like duh well I'm trying to just remember sometimes I need a word and it takes me a minute to find that word I take medications because I have RA and uh, sometimes I just forget and if you have RA out there you know what I'm talking about now we want to get this to boiling and I think I need to go ahead and add my cocoa too now it's a, it's a fourth of a cup that you put in here, but I got a half a cup because I'm doubling it. I might need to use the whisk on this a little bit, but eventually it will. Let me see. I might try that whisk and get that. Get, see if I can get that stirred in there better and quicker without any lumps. These whisks, they work wonderfully. They really do. I'm going to make some things for y'all. I'm going to make some um, 
you know, we have finger foods and stuff, and we just enjoy Christmas Eve together with me and my husband's family. And um, we make some finger foods and stuff like that. And I'm going to fix some things for you. Also good for football time. And um, also good for any time of chicken dip that I make is really good. A little spicy, but it can be as spicy as you want it or not spicy at all, Harley. Let's see if there's anything else I should go ahead and put in. No, I think I got it all. That should go ahead and be in here. Now, once I get this to boiling, I'm going to use the spoon, probably. These things are so good. <laughs> I, I have fatigue really bad today, but it seemed like every time I woke up, I wanted to eat one of these cookies. So I'm making more. I made I made these a couple of days ago, and I'm making more today. So I said, well, let's just go for double batch. And, you know, I, I was looking on the Internet to see how a lot of people have done them. You know, I just like to look. But, boy, people put some different things in them. I've seen this one lady that puts coconut oil in hers because her husband has health problems. And I can see that. That you know, coconut oil doesn't have a taste. It's not oil. It comes in a consistency like lard. But I tasted it and I liked it, but it don't really have a, too much it's got um I can't explain. It doesn't really have much of a taste. And of course, I always be real careful because this stuff, it gets the boiling. It can pop out on you. It gets very hot. And uh, it start, it's boiling. And once it gets to this heavy boil, I think I will just use the whisk a lot. And I'm going to tell you something. This stuff can pop on you and really burn you. Okay? Cameraman, you want to let them see what's going on here? You might not be able to see, but it's at a heavy boil. It'll boil on up to the top. But I'm going to let it boil there just a little bit, about a half a minute. And continuously stirring. I'm going to turn this down to medium heat. And I'm going to stir it like this the whole time. I'm going to stir it like this the whole time, like I said. And I'm going to, um, it's got to cook around two minutes, boiling, you know, constantly boiling for about two minutes. And with me having a double batch, I might go about three minutes. See, I've seen it pop up on the side of the pot and some on the stove, too. So you got to be real careful. Don't let it pop you in the face. Every now and then, I like to give a smile. I'm a smiley person. <laughs> Of course, I didn't set no kind of timer. You just estimate it. You can tell when the sugar's, even when you're making homemade fudge, you can tell when the sugar is crystallizing a little bit, you know, and it's red, when it's ready to go to the next step. If you, especially if you make these cookies, you know what I mean. And if you don't, then... I'm trying to tell you what I'm putting in it because I doubled it. And we're going to put the original recipe on there. I, I told y'all one time we was going to put the original recipe and I was watching the video and my husband didn't. And if there's ever a video that you have a question about, please ask. Now, I don't mind telling you. 
And and as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Well, I think that's probably boiled about enough. It's still boiling at medium heat, but it's boiling low. As you can see, it's just boiling kind of low. It's not sticking or nothing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the heat for just a minute. I'm going to put the peanut butter in, which is a half a cup. I mean, it's a whole cup, but the original recipe called for a half a cup, so I'm putting a whole cup. It's hard to get it out of here. This is something you do have to measure, because if you don't, you could be wasting your ingredients for not having the right amount of things. You, you really could just mess up your ingredients and have to start all over. I was really proud. My granddaughter come the other day and we went and got a pedicure. And when we came back to my home, she said, Nana, my mom wants your fudge recipe. And I actually found out, and I don't know why she said that, because she's the one that wanted it. I think she done that maybe because if it failed, that I wouldn't be proud of her. But I'm always proud of her. And I found out my daughter mistakenly told me, she said, Carly's really trying on that fudge. I said, oh, really? <laughs> So I called her and I said, how's your, how's your fudge going? Have you tried it yet? She said, yeah, and it wouldn't set up. And I was trying it again as we speak. And I said, well, good girl. I said, it'll set this time. I got faith in you. And it did. And she was so happy. And I'm proud of her, like I said, anyway. I'm going to put that and... The original recipe calls for one teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, I'm going to put two teaspoons of vanilla. I love vanilla. It smells so good. I can almost drink it, but it don't taste as good as it smells. <laughs> No, it don't. Well, I don't know. That ain't too bad. <laughs> okay. Secret recipe. The next secret recipe. Real gourmet cream of coconut. Now, there is no certain amount that you put in there because I've just done it like this. This is a tablespoon. I added, I, I tried it the other day, and it's a tablespoon. I'm going to put one. And this cut cream of coconut has no good health benefits because it's sweet and good. Two. I'm going to go for three. Well, the third one's heaping, so it's probably four <laughs> or three and a half. This stuff is so good, man. You get a spoon and stuff it up in there and get you a bite. It's good. It's really good. And you see that right there? What is it? Mm -mm. If you like coconut, you'll like this and them cookies. What does my lid? See the lid? Oh, I throw it in there. But this is really good in these cookies. I put everything I think in there except for the oatmeal. Now what you do, you put it back on the stove. And you gotta let this oatmeal, I mean this uh, peanut butter, melt. And get it all mixed in there together. Man, I didn't realize that I've never used the whisk to do all this. What a ding dong. Anyway, this was good. This was done real good using this whisk. I like it. What y'all use in the old days? Sticks? Spoon. Oh. Just a regular spoon. 
I use these big spoons on a lot of stuff because of the RA, you know. I need something bigger to grip. It's hard to grip the little ones. I have spasms. But this right here is uh, really good. And um, you just let that, you got to let all that stuff melt and dissolve in there good. It doesn't necessarily have to boil, okay? Just needs to melt. Get it good and hot. Butter streaks. I seen one that time. Just stir it up real good and get all that blended in our good together. And you don't have to do one, two, or whatever minutes. You just have to make sure it's all in our together. And I like to just make sure it is good and hot though. I think it's probably good enough. I'm gonna turn the stove off. Okay, and I'm going to have to change utensils here. Let's go ahead and put this one in there. And we're going to add our oatmeal. And we're going to stir this oatmeal in real good. Now listen. What kind of oatmeal is it? I, I used the one minute cooks in one minute. That's the best one to use. Although I looked over it yesterday and I, I used the one that takes about five minutes to cook and the oaks are real big. And I said, well, what in the world am I going to do? I, I, I didn't know if the store was still open. I didn't think so. But anyway, my husband had bought some oatmeal, and it was the one that cooks, and the oaks were so big, and you're not going to believe what I've done. I went and got the blender out, and you got to be real careful because I went, you know, I hit one of them to break them down some, and when I looked, it was powder. <laughs> I could not believe it. <coughs> and i tell you what. If you ever have to do that, just barely hit the button, and that's it, and it'll be smaller. But if you hit it more than just a second or two, it'll be powder. So if you ever need any powdered oatmeal, you know how to get it. Just put it in the blender. A couple seconds, it'll be powder. Well, you know what? This don't look like it's enough oatmeal in it, but I don't know why it wouldn't be, unless the cream of coconut. See, it looks too runny. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add about a half a cup or and see if that makes a better difference. Now, before you make your cookies and before you even start, or before you start cooking it, let me put it like this. You need some sort of a pan or something, cookie sheets or whatever, and put some wax paper down on it. I already have mine ready here with wax paper. And I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to keep that out for a minute, and I'm going to move everything else to the sink, except those, and I'm going to sit them right here like this. Oops, I almost lost the rest of it, and I'm just going to have to make me some oatmeal powder. <laughs> I had to laugh about that, because I actually done it twice and got powder both times, and I thought, well, what am I going to do? And I thought, I'm just going to have to be real quick. <laughs> looks better so I I think maybe the cream of coconut gave it after it melted it was liquid so it I had to add maybe another half a cup don't add it until you see if you do these my way don't add the extra oatmeal until you see if the consistency's right you you'll know if that's like that if it's gonna set up see how good those look looks real good see it's starting to harden on the back of the spoon so i can tell you it's ready all right i'm just going to drop them on that pan right there i 
had a little accident today, folks. I fell, so hopefully it's hurting and it's really sore. I'm really hoping nothing happened, though. I hope I haven't sprained it or something. I don't want to be slowed down. I got plenty of things I want to do. Make these as big as you want them. That's all you gotta do. Drop them on here. Make them just as big as you want them to be and as fat as you want them to be. I hope I got enough room in this pad. Might have to fix another one real quick. These things are the bomb. You can't go wrong by making them any time of the year. They're so good. Don't give them to the kids before bedtime. Or don't put one in their lunch. <laughs> it's got enough sugar in there to hype up anybody. And as you can see, ain't none of them the same size. It don't matter. You might look through there and think, I just want a little one. But I looked through there trying to find me a little one and they was all big. Now that went together there a little bit, but it don't matter. It'll come right apart. I'm trying to get what I can in here, but I'm thinking that's going to be the last one. So give me just a minute, folks. Let me grab a cookie sheet without being too noisy here. Don't those look good? And it won't take them too long to set up. I usually just set mine in the oven for a few minutes. And guess what? I didn't need foil. I need a wax paper. Well, this is not. This is. This pan's way too big for what I got left. But nevertheless, I needed another pan. make these a little bit smaller because I, like I said, sometimes I look in, I just want a little small one. Hey, but if you do make them, try that gourmet cream of coconut. That stuff is awesome in here. And so is the cream, uh, uh, comparing the cream to the, um, the sweet milk, mm -mm. it makes them really rich, but they're good. Now, should I try to make a cookie or lick the spoon? <laughs> Let's put a little bit more on that one right there. That's not too hot to handle now. I'm really hoping they'll set up good. And Folks, now I think lick they will. The spoon. Well, uh, I'm going to let my husband lick my finger. <laughs> All right, we're getting the thumbs up, so. Um, Let them cool down. Mm, mm, that's so good. Well, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. The holidays are coming up. I hope everybody's Christmas will be just as good. Travel safe, so you can come back to the with Brenda. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next time.